Hi, I'm Diane Marie Collins, and you have entered the DM Zone. Hi, I'm Diane Marie Collins, and today I am visiting with Mara Pearl, author, speaker, and actress. Welcome, Mara. Thank you. I would like to talk about the fact that you began your career with Days of Our Lives. Is that where you got the idea, the spark of creativity for your own soap opera? Uh, that was part of the spark, yes. Uh, I had been invited to perform in a beautiful two-character play in Cambria, California. And I'd heard of it, and I'd wanted to visit. It's about halfway between LA and San Francisco, so it's slightly inconvenient to get to, so it's slightly <laughs> undiscovered, mm. at least it was at that time. So, now, I grew up in Tokyo, a city of 11 million then, and then I lived in New York, and then LA. Kind and, of small towns, huh? Yeah, so <laughs> what I knew about a small town was absolutely nothing. So for me, whenever I wasn't on stage, I was walking around this village trying to understand how do people live in a little town like this? I became really fascinated. So uh, a gentleman came backstage who owned the radio station. And he said, you know, we loved the play. If you ever would like to do something on the radio, give me a call. Well, that made a bigger impression than I realized. Hmm. And that was sort of ticking over in the back of my mind. Well, I went back to LA. My agent said that I had a, an audition for a soap opera, and I thought, oh, soap opera, that's beneath me. I'm a classically trained actress. <laughs> that's okay, I went on the audition. When they offered the job, I took it in about 10 seconds. <laughs> and then, you know, I loved it. I learned so much. I worked with fantastic actors, excellent directors. The scripts were very interesting. The story writing interested me a lot. It was the long form of storytelling. Mm -hmm. So it's perfectly valid for a story to have a particular arc and wrap up in two hours. But on the other hand, life itself is much more complex. And we make a series of choices. We go from choice to choice. And I thought, how interesting it would be to write that kind of story. So then I thought, long form of story, radio. That guy said radio. So I called him and I said, how would it be if I created a soap opera for your radio station? And he said, I can't believe you're asking. I've always wanted to do that. So that's how it started, and I started writing the scripts. I have many friends who were on either my soap or several other soaps. I began making phone calls, asked friends, you know, would you take a flyer with me and do the show? Most of them said yes. And then I found a studio home for the show, and we were off to the races. How exciting. It was.